They are dry back and wet back type. Dry back boilers come in two and three pass configurations. Wet back boilers come in both three pass and four pass configurations. We'd like to take a moment to explain the differences between our dry back and wet back boilers. Whether a boiler is a two, three, or four pass boiler, dry back or wet back, the number of passes dictates the amount of time the heated air passes through the boiler. This boiler here, our cutaway boiler, is a three pass boiler. The first pass is the furnace here. The hot gases go into this rear smoke box area here, and then they go into the second pass, dictated by this set of tubes here, back to the front tube sheet, and then they come through this set of tubes here, the third pass, and then go out the stack. The major difference between dry back and wet back is this area back here. In a wet back boiler, this reversal chamber is water cooled. In a dry back boiler, you'll see a single rear refractory door that allows you to open the boiler for inspections or tube removal. Wet back boilers have a double door, which is lined with ceramic fiber instead of refractory. Cost-wise, dry back boilers have a lower initial cost than wet back boilers, but end up costing more to maintain over the life of the boiler. The wet back reversal chamber here provides higher efficiency than a dry back boiler, as well as better response to the stresses caused by load changes. These are all important things to consider when planning on purchasing and maintaining your boiler. At Superior Boiler Works, whether it's a dry back or wet back boiler or boiler system, we can configure a boiler for your needs. Manufactured in the United States, Superior Boiler Works is a Kansas company with decades of experience.